Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So in this one, we're taking a look at tonight's new bundle, the Dan Hip Artist Showcase. So they have mentioned a few times now wanting to do more specific uh, artist bundles, as well as the possibility of random variants being a specific category of artist or type of variant like pixel like dan hip etc so that'll be a cool thing we might be seeing in the future but for now we have a new bundle featuring devil dinosaur and moon girl in the dan hip style now the dan hip art has always been a pretty popular one so i do expect a decent amount of interest in this one but what did we actually get in terms of value here and how does it compare to kind of other values available in the game? Well, the main thing about this bundle is this is a cosmetic focused bundle with progression kind of thrown in, or I guess in this case more forced in to increase the price a bit. So what are you actually getting from this bundle? Obviously you're getting the Devil Dino and Moon Girl avatars and variants in the Dan Hip style getting 155 boosters for each character and then in terms of progression you're getting 2000 credits the cost of this bundle is 2900 gold and it's going to be running from the 14th till the 21st so uh, what do you actually get in terms of value out of this bundle i don't really put much value in the avatars or boosters so it's really just credits and the variants if you wanted to see what it costs to get 2,000 credits if you're buying with gold, it ends up being 1,600 gold. So that leaves us with 1,300 gold for the two variants. Now, if you value these at 700, price of a lower costed variant ends up costing a uh, just 100 gold more or 100 gold less than buying two 700s. Uh, but if you value these at 1,200, then that would be obviously more uh, value. So I think some people are going to value them kind of like 1200 variants, which you can only get in the store. Currently, these bundle ones are only available via the bundle. And we don't know if that's something that will be coming back in the future or not. I know some players really like trying to collect a lot of uh, variants from a specific artist. So if you're a big fan of Dan Hip, these might be the only opportunities to get them for these specific cards. Now, obviously the variant value will be subjective if you use these cards, if you like these variants, but basically this is not a progression focused bundle. You're kind of getting progression thrown in to justify the price. And it's not exactly cheap when we convert the gold out being about 40 ish dollars. So overall, depends what you're looking for out of these bundles if you really like the cosmetics and don't mind some progression thrown in this is probably one for you but if you're purely progression focused probably take a look at the throg bundle or just keep saving for future bundles or if you are looking for just tokens to get some of those new pool five cards or the big fads then you probably want to focus on the Squirrel Girl bundle dropping later this month. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.